Now on most days, I fly a desk. Today was a special day, the chance to pilot two fantastic new models, not here in the showroom, but on a racetrack at Norwalk, the precision driving centre here on Australia's Gold Coast. Aston Martin is very much about creating sports cars that, that are intended to drive, they're intended to race. A lot of what we put into the surface is important. The language of the surface, the fullness, and the fullness is there to describe the form and the shape of the car, the power. You think about muscles and the negativity and the positive nature of muscles. It has a very, very clean, very simple line to the car and Aston Martins are, are viewed from 360 degrees, and so an Aston Martin should be beautiful from 360 degrees. For Aston Martin's 100th birthday, there are two new presents. There's the new Vanquish, which we'll look at later, the world's best Super GT, and the latest bloodline in DB, the new DB9. It's a great privilege to be here at the Norwell Performance Driving Centre, taking the car out of the environment of the normal place we film, which is the showroom. What we want to do is show you where your engineering money goes on the car. It's always hard for me to explain to people what they're investing in. It's a beautiful car. The Astons are the most beautiful tourers and sports cars in the world. Take that as a given. But the money you invest in the car is often not seen. It's in the engineering integrity of the car. All right, so we're obviously going to use the full rev range in this. First gear into second gear through here. I've got it set in track mode, so I want stability in the car. So coming through here, ceramic brakes used beautifully here. Very little fade. Just, just turning in, you can feel the flatness of the car coming through. I know exactly where I want to come out at and it gets me there. A little bit of traction control to help me come through. Third gear, up into fourth gear. Seamless transmission. So think performance of DBS previously in the model range, now stepped up into the new DB9 category. New DB9 is the continuation of the DB bloodline. New six litre V12 engine is pushing out now 510 horsepower. It is a new engine. It's the same engine that now we've got in Vanquish, which has power at 565 horsepower. And I'm going to come hard on the brakes here. How's the car going to react? We're going to get no pitch or roll here. Very heavy on the brakes, just coming through the gears and just turning through. Beautifully stable, all four wheels, maximum grip, traction control coming in. And that's the idea of this technology that we've got. We want to give you the confidence to be able to drive this car to its engineering ability. In a lesser car, I'd be working much harder. Six-speed ZF transmission through the gearbox here, but can be also run through paddle shift as well. So one to six, up the paddles and down as well. And we'll be able to demonstrate that here at Norwell on the track. Very flat through there. There's traction control. It's not gonna let me push the car so that we lose the back end of the car. It overtakes the front. Key to the car when you're driving like this is how confident you feel and how much it helps. It's helping a great deal, but it's incredibly confident. Don't need to be at the top of the game to be able to get the best execution out of the car and to get the investment that you've made in the car come through. Full aluminium, vertical horizontal, fourth generation body, uh, stiffer than it has been before, and now with uh, additions like track modes on suspension. We've got normal, sport, and now track to give extra dimensions of performance in the car that we haven't had. So let's talk about the looks of the car. It's an evolution of the DB Bloodline and an evolution of DB9. More muscular than we've seen before, it takes on that same body form as DBS, not only with the power, but also the muscularity of the rear shoulders of the car. It's beautiful looking, but it's also strong looking. It's planted to the road, very much what Marek Reitman was looking to do, bringing the car down aerodynamically. That's what this car does so well. Beautiful long distance driving. But we can also play with the car in environments like this. Uh, that was very enjoyable for me because of the confidence that it gave me. As I say, great fun to be out on a track when you've got this kind of environment, uh, unrestricted, and just feel the stability as you come through. Great aerodynamics on the car, a little bit of downforce, helping the back of the car down, maximum traction, all of those systems working together. Suspension settings on the car, absolutely fantastic. So this is supercar performance in our now most beautiful Super GT, the GD DB9. And really for me, the most beautiful GT Grand Tourer in the world. So unrestricted by speed limits, we've been able to compare DB9 and Vanquish 
with the privilege of running at the Norwell circuit. So how did they compare? Well, with Vanquish over DB9, you've got three important things. A full carbon fibre body in Vanquish, so stiffer and lighter. Race car technology from an aerodynamic point of view, giving huge downforce and, of course, power. 15% up over DB9, 565 horsepower comparing to 510. How would I sum that all up? Just the heart beating that little bit faster. The new DB9 and the new Vanquish, you choose.